Hello and welcome back to F1 22 driver career mode. My name is Chris and welcome to the season one finale. Boy, I'm excited. I have been having a bit of an off run of form lately. In Japan, the uh, MGUK failed. In Mexico, the energy store failed. And in Brazil, we did okay actually. We did good in Brazil. My recording failed for Brazil. We had no sound for that one, so we summed that one up in the last video. If you want to go check that out, it's the Mexico-Brazil video. Go and have a look at that one before this one, get you up to speed. We actually managed to get on the podium in Brazil, which we kind of overlooked a little bit because I was annoyed about the sound. But here we are, coming off the back of a podium into the finale. 92 points to Lando's 91. There's one point in it now, so we have to beat him here in Abu Dhabi. If we don't, P7 is bye-bye. The best we get is P8. So, fingers crossed we do. We also want to wrap up P4 in the constructors, which I think we can do. We're pretty comfortably ahead of McLaren at the moment. So, just some good points here today and getting in front of the McLarens will secure that. As we head to the track then for qualifying, starting what will be our first flying lap. We're doing this uh, on pretty old components. We had to change components out after practice uh, obviously no penalties because we're using things that were already in the pool we just picked the least worn components for everything so hopefully that will get us through if we come around then to finish the first flyer uh, second flyer rather uh, and that's going to put us into q2 yeah comfortably into q2 then in p8 so we move on lando norris though goes fastest daniel ricardo second fastest and Lando's three tenths quicker that's worrying we lose Vettel, Sonoda, Schumacher, Latifi and Joe from this session unfortunate for Vettel he's not really having a great season is he but what can you do the car's not good so yeah is what it is anyway on to Q2 and we are on our second flying lap currently sat down in P15 but we are improving by 8, 9, over a second as we come across the line. 1.2 seconds gained. Is it going to be enough? Yes, it is. P9 into Q3. Not a bad result. Espen Ocon just below us in P10. Lando up there in P4. So he he really does have pace. We need, we need to be worried about that, I think. Um, but Kevin Magnussen knocked out. Valtteri Bottas, Alex Albon, Lance Stroll and Pierre Gasly will be leaving Q2. Boy, this is going to be a race, isn't it? Back to the track as we come around to complete our final lap in this qualifying session. We're currently in P9. What's it going to be? I think we're going to stay P9. Yeah, P9 then for the start of tomorrow's race. Only Esteban behind us. Lando Norris has put it on pole. This is the worst possible outcome for us because, well... How are we going to make up nine spots? We've got some work to do, eh? Let's go to the Grand Prix. It's the final chapter of the season then here at the spectacular Yas Marina circuit. It's a race where the pole sitter failed to finish in three of the first four events. A front row start here is by no means a guarantee of victory. So we go into battle once more then, as we get underway at the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. The Yas Marina circuit is made up of 3.28 miles of track, featuring 16 corners with two very long straights. DRS zones going into the heavy braking zones of both Turn 5 and Turn 7 offer plenty of potential for overtaking. The circuit comes with its fair share of tricky corners, which will certainly test a driver's braking management. It's time to take a look at our starting grid for today's race. Charles Leclerc lines up on pole position and a very happy Carlos Sainz will start second. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Russell, Norris. They'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. Marshall and Hamilton. They've taken a grid penalty. Bottas, Ocon, Ricardo and Mick Schumacher. Perez, Albon. They'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. Sebastian Vettel and Gasly. Joe Magnussen, Lance Stroll and Yuki Tsunoda. 
Latifi and Max Verstappen completes the grid. It's almost time for those five red lights to go out then. Let's see who can prevail today. Anthony Davidson joins me once again in the commentary box, and it's fantastic to have you with us here, but I'm curious, as a man with experience out on the track, how do you stop those pre-race nerves from becoming overwhelming when you're lining up on the grid? Well, I imagine they'll be starting to feel the adrenaline as they anticipate the rundown into Turn 1, a bit like preparing to go into battle. The unknown situation will bring nerves, but that's a good thing. It will keep them focused on the moment and on their surroundings as we build towards the start of the Grand Prix. OK, how was that pull away? You'll have a bit more grip on that on the start, but we need to warm the tyres properly now. Make sure you get some heat into the brakes as well. All right, so Lando qualified on pole position, but has received a three-place grid penalty, which is a strange one. I'm not entirely sure I understand what that is for, but either way, it brings us up some places with all the grid penalties that have happened, and him down some places, which puts us next to each other on the grid. So we'll make this a little more interesting, because we're going to be racing each other from the start. Let's make sure we get the edge on the surrounding drivers as the lights go out. As we wait for the five red lights. For the last time in season one, we're about to go racing as we wait for the five red lights to illuminate. And we are underway for the season finale in Abu Dhabi in season one. A terrible start for us. Okay, Hamilton's come on. No. We've already been warned of an issue. We've, we've, we've got wear on the ICE. What's Hamilton doing? Absolute. I don't even know what that was. <laughs> he nearly took us out. We managed to avoid him and go round. So we're up back into P5. Espan Ocon also getting through on Hamilton. I'm not sure that what happened there. I think Hamilton was taking avoiding action on, on Russell and Lando ahead and, uh, and got himself caught up there and... and both Alpine cars are through, so that's good for us as George Russell and Lando Norris are battling down that long, long straight. Who's going to come out on top of this one? It looks like George might just have the upper hand. He's got the inside line. He goes through. Still side by side here, but George has got the place, and we are right behind, ready to pounce. If they can just keep slowing each other up, they're going side by side again. What can we do? We think about it, and then we back out because... That could have been messy. Uh, three wide into into that sort of banked corner would have been uh, terrible. But yeah, Russell onto the podium then. Uh, only ahead of him are the two Ferrari cars who have already wrapped up the championship. So this is just a nice Sunday drive for them. Esteban has been overtaken by Lewis. So yeah, just a brief lapse of, I don't know, concentration or something for Lewis. He, he, he had to avoid something. And uh, he's, he's got himself, oh, as we have a moment, back a few places. But we're going to go for the overtake on Lando here up the inside. What's it going to be? Is it going to be a move for us? As Lando just lets us through. Yes, it is. Quite aggressive, but we have to be aggressive. We have to beat the McLarens today. And there's yellow flags behind us. What's happened here? Oh. information on Stroll. Okay, it looks like the problem's terminal. They're retiring the car. We've got a safety car on lap two. Here's what happened. Joe Guan Yu going round the hairpin gets a little bit out of shape just puts the power on a bit too soon and round he goes here's what happened to Latifi he avoids Stroll and uh, smashes into Joe and here's what happened to Stroll he tries to avoid K-Meg smacks into the back of him so they're both out of this race unfortunately for them but for us closes up the pack a little bit not that there was a great deal of time between everybody but we are about to go racing again can we get the jump on Russell on the safety car restart? Fantastic restart for us. We're right there on his gearbox. We're going to send it out the inside. We do think about it. And then he also, he did what Lando did and sort of thought, oh, crikey, there's a car there. Let me get out of the way. It doesn't really make any sense, but we're through. We're onto the podium. That's great news for us. Lando is at least two spots behind us. Yeah, he's down in P6. So uh, we've got us, the two, two Mercedes cars, and then Lando. So if we can keep him back there, will be in good stead to uh, to get more points, of course, than him. And that's what we need. That's all we need. It could just be one place. We just need to score more points than him for, for that seventh place in the championship. Uh, but we have found incredible pace in this race because we are closing in on the two Ferraris. 
which we have no right to be doing. We did the same thing in Mexico where we managed to hold them off for a while. Um, so Great work. That's a new fastest lap of the race. We're obviously doing something right. Durability is not it as we go super wide there. It has to take uh, a bit of off-track action. Um, you know, we're doing something right. Durability is not the one, but some of the upgrades we've been applying have obviously been helping. Um, and we have now caught signs on lap 10. Are we going to get a move done here? I'd be surprised, but we are absolutely gaining on him. We go for the outside. Round the banked corner. What's it going to be? Signs have just got more speed than us and uh, holds on to that position for now. We are. We did set, just set a fastest lap a minute ago. I don't know where that came from, but we'll take that as an extra point to help our uh, cause, of course. Uh, if we can hold on to it, that is. Uh, there are a lot of talented drivers in this race, as there are always. So... Uh, yeah, we'll see, we'll see. As we go on to lap 11 then, chasing down signs. He just seems to have the edge on us at the moment, but we, uh, we're there, we're keeping with him. And uh, on lap 11, we're going to go for a move in the DRS zone, round the outside, going to give us the inside line for the next corner. And we get through, we squeeze him to the, uh, to the left, and that's us through. A bit of a moment there on the exit. And uh, it's P2 was not expecting that, given that we qualified down in P9. And here's, uh, you can see signs on board in the top right. He's chasing us down. He's not far away at all, but I think we might just have the edge and uh, be able to keep him behind, for now at least, but we'll see. We come through this very tight technical session, section uh, at the end of the lap. On to lap 12. Signs is, is right there. So is Lewis Hamilton. And we've had a big moment. And we've had to take our car off the track. Another wobble on the way out, just sorting ourselves out. And we've lost position uh, to Sainz and Hamilton. And Norris is having a go as well. Look at that. I'd like to see a different angle of that. Here's Norris is on board. Oh, that was close. He could have ended his race. He could have ended my race there. Oh, yeah, that was uh, that was too close for comfort. But we're going to be coming in at the end of this lap. Ocon's in on this lap. As we come into the pit lane then at the end of lap 13, the hard tyres will be going on. And we're going to try and one-stop this. Seem to have good enough pace to keep Lando behind, as well as the Mercedes cars. Engines seem better days. 67% wear on that, so we're going to be, uh, yeah, just keeping an eye on that. See these um, tires through to the end now. Out the pit lane then in P7. Hamilton and Norris pitted right behind us, so they'll be following us out the lane. And hopefully we can start to pull a bit of a gap. You can see from the little arrow that Lewis is right behind me. He seems to be firing up those hard tires just a little bit better than we are. You can see we've got the temperature open on the right hand side temperatures just not in the front yet so yeah we're having uh we're having to really really work hard just to keep the car where we want it just to not spin and not slide around as the the hard tires are really really hard to warm up but yeah lewis hamilton goes through then and on lap 15 lewis hamilton and george russell almost meet as russell comes out the pits and that just gives us enough that we can get ahead of him and up into p4 so now we're going to chase lewis get ourselves back on the podium hopefully we've got the pace to do it we seem to have it the start of the race and uh, Lando Norris is about to come through on George as well he does come through that's not really what we wanted we were hoping that maybe George could hold him up for a bit but is what it is as we chase down Lewis Hamilton on lap 20 can we get past him though that Mercedes has been looking really really good in this season um, it's had better than us I would say uh, so Fingers crossed. What's it going to be? Send it up the inside into turn one. I don't know if Mark meant right now, but uh, we, we did get through. But unfortunately, so did Lando. He's just following us. Every move we make is right there. He's putting the pressure on. So this is, uh, yeah, it's hard work, this one. I think we can hold him off. I think we can keep him behind if we just keep our head cool. But uh, he's not making it easy for us. Anyway, on to lap 26. Okay, you're losing a small amount of time to the car behind. Let's keep pushing. Lando's been closing in on us for a little while now. We did pull out a little bit of a gap, but 
He's, uh, he's managed to pull closer, and Russell is right there as well, all within a second of each other. So this is going to be an interesting one. As we come down to start the back straight, this is where he's going to get us, if he's going to get us. He's only three tenths behind now, so look at that. Not a great exit for us, which is going to give him a real good run into that tight chicane at the end of this straight. As he uh, sizes himself up, it looks like he might pull out in a second. He's not quite close enough yet, though. He does pull out, though. He looks like he's going to have a go into the chicane. We sort of back out a little bit, let him come through. Maybe we can get DRS here side by side on the exit. Oh, push him off the track a little bit. But everyone's still got themselves in one piece. DRS open. ERS as well. Absolutely slamming the ERS. And we go past. We're in a bit of a sandwich here. We've been tagged by George Russell. And that could be our race over. Safety car's been deployed. Let's have another look at that. So George Russell pulls out. I'm just on my line. I had a quick look back. You saw it from my point of view. I, I didn't realise how far up the side of me he was. And I just kept on my line and we, we came together. It was really, really unfortunate. I don't really know where to put the blame. I'd be inclined to sort of 50-50 because I was on my line. You can see where I'm going right out to the outside. I don't like suddenly pull over or anything. And he just tags me. Loses his front wing, of course, but I've now got a puncture. That has just cost us seventh place in the championship. That one moment. Perfect job from you and the crew there, mate. And We're we delighted with that. The safety car is coming in, but you can see on the mini map. We haven't all caught him yet, so we're getting absolutely screwed, not just by getting crashed into and sent out into the wall, but from the safety car as well. As look, the top five restart the race, safety cars into the pit lane, and we're just halfway around the track. So there's nothing we can even do to try and try and bring this back. And that soft tire with a couple of laps to go, one lap to go, would have really helped. So more safety car shenanigans in Abu Dhabi. We just don't seem to be able to shake them. So really really unfortunate we're going to finish i think p14 at best at this rate as we uh, look to make a move on gasly for, for p15 obviously they're worn hard tires against our fresh soft tires are not really a match and the pace we've had today we're just so quick we even I'm, I'm angry at this point so i'm just going for it around the outside on kevin magnuson like he's not even there and uh, yeah, up into P14, but I think that's going to be the best we can do. We're not going to be able to close. Jeez, that was uh, track limits much. That was, uh, yeah, four, four seconds is just not going to happen okay, in one lap. Final lap, final lap of the race. It's unfortunate. We definitely could have secured, secured, get your words out, we could have secured P7 in the championship today, but George Russell okay, took it away from us cruelly. So we come home in 14th probably going to be, be uh, a P8 in the championship which is uh, not ideal we've been we've been seventh pretty much the whole season so to lose it on the last race it's yeah it sucks a coaster season but they can go into the winter with their heads held high after an emphatic victory here today and talk to me what do you think it was that sealed the win for them I think that smart tyre management on track and very smooth driving definitely assisted in their victory today. That combination meant they got the absolute maximum out of their tyres at all times. Here come our winners now, a thrilling race and a tremendous effort by Ferrari. Their history is well known, so it's no surprise to fans the world over to see them come out on top once again. <sighs> Safety car shenanigans in Abu Dhabi. Okay, it wasn't for the championship win, but it does affect our finishing spot in the championship because the fact the safety car came out on lap 27 was very surprising. Normally, the game wouldn't do that. Um, so I thought, oh, great, we actually might have a chance here. But then, of course, it didn't have enough time for everybody to catch up. And so it just had to come in on the just before the final lap started. So really unfortunate that we got in that situation. George Russell ended up down in P9. Lando just came out unscathed from all of that and ended up on the podium, 15 points, and stealing that P7 in the championship from us. Which is it's frustrating, and, and by only... Well, I say only. We got 92 points in the end, and Lando ended up on 106, so a, a big number of points. We did 
just about get P4 because we've got exactly the same number of points as McLaren. But I guess because we uh, were there before. I'm not even sure, until, sure how that works. We were already in P4, so they would have to overtake us to get the P4. But we get P4 in the championship, which means we should be looking. I mean, the pace that our car has had, we should be looking in good stead to, to be fighting for third next season. So we'll go away. We'll regroup, put some upgrades on the car, do some good testing. And for season two, our goal is to be fighting for third. So we, that means we've got to be fighting for podiums. We've got to be fighting for wins from the get-go. Stay tuned for that one. It's going to be starting next week. There's going to be a few days where there no, no videos go up um, while I get ready for season two. And then we're going to come back. I'm going to reveal the calendar. Uh, all of these seasons uh, are likely to be 16 race seasons, so we can chop and change the tracks every season. Uh, but yeah, stay tuned for that. It's going to be it's going to be a good one. I've really enjoyed season one. I'll also give you my thoughts and stuff on the game as a whole before we start season two. Um, but if you enjoyed this video, leave us a little like, drop a comment, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you next week for season two. Goodbye.